Huh. This is a 2XL sweatshirt, so I look really big in it, but you know, it's fine. I'm comfortable at least. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Savannah and in today's video I'm going to do something that's really exciting. If you guys have watched my last couple of videos, you know that I've been kind of taking this new year approach in a very relaxing way and kind of just focusing on me, starting to go back to the gym a little bit, trying to eat a little bit better, getting a new job, all of those kinds of things. And you know, in my downtime, I've been kind of writing out my goals, coming up with words I want to use to represent this year. And I finally feel ready to make my manifestation slash dream slash vision board for this year. So I thought I would film it and make a little video for you guys. And I'm also going to be doing something kind of interesting with it. I'm not just going to print out pictures and post them on a board like I know a lot of other people do it. I'm actually going to be putting it on my iPad. Now, if you guys have watched any of my videos before, especially my vlogs, you guys know I love my iPad. And I'll put the details about that in the description box. But yeah, I just want to make a digital vision board. That way I can put it on my GoodNotes app and have it on my phone, have it on my iPad, be able to access it anywhere, add to it if I want, and just kind of see it everywhere in that way. I'm also going to make it my lock screen for my iPad and maybe my phone. I'm not sure yet though. Um, so yeah, that way I'll just constantly be seeing it intentionally or non-intentionally if it's my background, you know So I feel like that's gonna be a lot better for me and a lot more practical for me and that way I can really constantly See my goals be reminded of them and hopefully help that manifest into my life. So That is all I wanted to say for this intro. Let's go ahead and get into the dream vision manifestation board creation Basically last night I went on Pinterest and I already picked out some pictures. So I'll go ahead and show you guys those really quick um, just so you guys get like an idea of kind of like the vibes. So I have like some tattoo images, rings, spirituality stuff, some quotes I like. And I even made this little, I'm going to need the notifications to stop doing that. I have this little like kind of beginning piece for my visual board. Um, but I'm going to make another one of these and show you guys how I do it. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pictures. So I want to do about like 20 of them. So I'm gonna get 10 more pictures and I kind of want to do some more like kind of fitness, um, kind of like more like health, YouTube goal inspired. So what I'm gonna do is literally I'm gonna go onto Pinterest and we're gonna pick out some more pictures. So if you guys didn't know, Pinterest is literally an app, which is a gift from God. Um, my Pinterest is full of Robert Pattinson pictures. So if you just see those, just pretend like you did it, okay? Um, it's an obsession, but it's fine. So basically, I'm just going to look for, oh, and Matthew Gray Goobler. The way to search is going to be kind of cringy, okay? So just bear with me. Workout, aesthetic, active, set. So yeah, see, look. See pictures like these. Oh, look at Emma Chamberlain. She's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to look through here and find ones that I like. Um, let me get some more diverse women in here. I could see people that look a little more like me in the search. There we go. Okay, she's cute. All right. Which one do I like? Okay, I like this one. She's cute. Purr, purr. So I'm going to download that image. Let's go to my channel, actually. What we're going to do is kind of interesting. We're going to go to YouTube. And then I'm going to screenshot my channel. And I'm going to screenshot this little box right here. I don't know how to screenshot on the new iPad. I screenshot it. We're going to screenshot it. I'm going to go into Procreate. And I'm actually going to kind of... Um, this is going to get really interesting. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color select, cross out... 2.99k which guys thank you so much for almost 3k that is freaking exciting actually i'm going to just cross out the number 299 and i'm going to type in let's do add text i'm going to put 10,000 because i'm trying to manifest 10,000 by the end of this year which i think is totally possible so make sure you guys subscribe if you like this video I need to color select this color, this gray. Okay. I'm gonna save that to my palette. And then I'm gonna go edit this text color. I'm gonna make it the gray. 
All right, we're gonna put that right there. That's good enough. So now I'm going to go save this, share PNG. All right, I'm gonna save that. So that's gonna be image number three out of the 10 we wanna look for. Now I'm gonna go back to Pinterest and let me look at my goals really quick that I wrote down the other day, just to make sure that I'm writing all the stuff that I wanted to do. So invitation, better cook, eat healthier, scrapbooking, more film pictures. Let's look up some film pictures. Film photography aesthetic. Because I just love the way that film pictures look. This summer, I actually got a film camera. Like the second that the thrift stores opened back up again, I got a new film camera. I wanna make like scrapbooks and stuff like that because one of my favorite memories growing up is like looking through scrapbooks and photo books of like my parents and my family and seeing the stuff that they were doing, what they took pictures of. And I feel like since our generation is so digital and like so online, it'd be really cool for me to try to capture these memories um, and kind of do like the scrapbooking thing just cause I feel like physical pictures and stuff is so cool. So let's look up film camera aesthetic to see if we can get some like people who take pictures of their actual camera. Like this is cute. I'm gonna go to the app Pixar and Pixar is what I use to make my thumbnails. Pretty much do anything in regards to editing for YouTube or um, Instagram pictures. I use Pixar, so it's literally one of the best apps ever y'all. If you're not using Pixar, literally what are you doing? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those 10 photos I'm gonna scroll to collages. I'm gonna select the 10 photos and then going to kind of fix them to how I want. So let's see where my last collage was. So we started with the workout picture, Polaroid, the reading, film, bike, the 10K, the healthy food, the, did I do the Netflix one yet? Um, the YouTube sign, and then I need one more, the airplane. So then I'm gonna click this. Um, actually, I'm gonna not do the Savannah Stuber one. I'm gonna replace that picture. I'm capable of achieving my goals and living out my dreams. I think that looks cute. So what I'm gonna do now is go to layout. I'm gonna go to border and I'm gonna take the border away just cause I don't like the border. And then I'm clicking on certain pictures and zooming in and out where I want to. So I'm going to go click next and then I'm going to click um, next again. And I'm going to download that to my photos and then we're going to combine the two that I made. Just go to Procreate. I, I wasn't screen recording for that part. So basically I just put in the dimensions for an iPad screen and then I just put those in here. So I like how that looks so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into insert a photo and put some of the quotes in. This one's I'm radiating self-love and abundance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Apple Pencil and just erase the extra parts of that. Uh, let's see. And I wanna put the eraser on hard. I don't like the way I pull that out. I'm gonna erase that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put these little affirmations all around it, basically doing the same thing, just erasing most of the pictures so that way it'll fit really nicely. All right, guys, I just finished adding all of the quotes and affirmations I wanna put in there, and I like the way that this is organized. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and export this, I'm gonna save it as a PNG, save the image, and then I'm gonna to go to Pixart again to decorate it. So um, you can do like drawing and stuff on Procreate, but what I love about Pixart is the glitter brush. Now you guys, if you click on this video or have watched any of my other videos or have just looked on my channel before, you see that I like to kind of put the glitter on my thumbnails. It's kind of like my own personal little like touch that I do. And I don't know, I think it's just a really cute element to my videos and I think it's what makes my thumbnails kind of maybe stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna go to photos and I'm gonna click the collage photo. I'm gonna go to brushes at the bottom and then I'm gonna do the pink glitter just because I feel like it really just fits well with this. And then I'm just gonna go into the picture and just draw little hearts. The bigger you do it, the bigger the, like the crystals look. So since it's gonna be kind of far away, I like the way that looks better. And you just kinda wanna decorate it. I'm gonna like outline all of the little quotes I inputted. And you can make this as neat or as sloppy as you want. I'm kind of just like, sometimes I kind of like the sloppy look, like I'm not perfect line though. It really just depends on what you want. And Pixar you can get on your phone too, so like literally you don't even have to have an Apple Pencil or an iPad or anything. And I don't know about, I'm like really hunching over. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all of those sparkles and then I'm gonna go back to brushes. And then, what if I do with this hard one? Oh, I don't really like that. 
Let's see if I make it smaller. I know it's kind of cute somewhere, like in little like places. Just travel, music. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do like too much because I don't want to look like somebody like threw up creativity on it, but I think that looks pretty cute. So I'm going to hit apply, double check everything, make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to click next and then save to photos. So let's go to our photos and see how that looks. I think it's pretty cute. I'm going to go to edit and see if I can boost the saturation a little bit because you know how I like my highly saturated things. Okay, that looks a little too much. Yeah, I like it with a little bit more saturation though. I'm gonna, um, ooh, I'm gonna take the warmth away. I did negative 30 warmth. Ooh, I like that, how that looks. Great. And then I'm gonna brighten it or darken it. I'm gonna brighten it a lot more. Yeah, okay. So that looks pretty good to me. It's nice and colorful, nice and pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, let me see, I wanna rotate it so I can make it my lock screen. We'll see how this fits. So we're gonna make it like this. Oh, that's really cute, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this wallpaper and then click it, zoom it all the way out, and then click set as, um, let's set it to both right now. All right, so then when we go back home, oh, that, actually, I don't really like that as my background, not gonna lie, there's a lot going on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is just have it as my lock screen. So here's the finished product. Um, and if you guys really like this one, um, yeah, so if you guys really like mine, what I'll do is I'll replace my subscriber sticker with like a quote or something, and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys really like this one. And if you do use this one, make sure you go on Instagram and like show me and like tag me in it, cause that would be so freaking cute. I'm gonna put this as my laptop background as well, and I'll put a picture of that somewhere in here, cause I think it's just really cute. So. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me kind of showing you guys how to work around Procreate, PixArt, and how to make yourself a digital vision board. I'm really, really excited. I am just really excited for this year. I'm going to go import that to GoodNotes as well so I can have it on my phone and my iPad as well. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic, amazing rest of your day, night, evening, week, month, year. I hope 2021 is going to be good for everybody. And yeah, comment down below what are some of your goals for this year. And if you already started working on some of your goals, how's it going? I would love to know. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out. I don't know how to end videos anymore.